morning everyone so you can see Kira's practicing her football skills in the background hopefully not breaking anything in the meantime and um, so because we're doing our uh, kids olympic whoa, kids olympic sports this morning so hopefully you're ready to join us she's got her team Groot strip on today yeah sporting her Disney football team um so we're just gonna wait a couple more minutes for people to join us and then we're gonna get going now i would like to know thank you kira i would like to know how you got on with your challenge last week what was our challenge last week not the double clap didn't i set another one last week was it that one still no i'm sure you've done that one already what were we doing last week? I can't even remember what we were doing last week. Oh, no, you needed to turn, jump and turn, didn't you? Oh, yeah. You needed to see if you could jump in a full circle and land. So how did you do with that? I'm getting lost with time. I don't know what time of day it is. Okay, brilliant. So I'm going to set you a new challenge to practice this week, and it is with the aid of a ball, if you've got one. Okay, but we're going to get going. Let's put the ball away because we don't need equipment for today, even though we're doing some sports. All right, so let's get going. Okay, good morning to everyone. So we're going to do a leg warm up, pretending that we're footballers this morning, and then we're going to do an arm warm up, thinking that we're tennis players. Okay, so like you saw Kira doing, she was trying to do her ball skills. So I just want you to kick your feet in front as if you're doing keepy uppies. All right. So just curl your toes up a bit so the ball goes up rather than straight forwards. And now take your knees out as if you're going to get the ball on the inside of your foot. A little bit of energy, Kira. That's it. And now you're dropping the ball on your knee. So we're getting our knee up. And we're going back to the feet. You've got to jump and bounce to get the ball to bounce up as well. And then knees out. So you're hitting the ball on the inside of your foot. And then knees up. So the ball bounces off the top of your knee. And relax. Okay, so footballers need to be very motivated and mobile. So we need to do a big outer movement with our knee to loosen up our hips. Good job. And we need to go the other way now. So we need to come in. So our hip starts out and comes in. Like our cat. She's waiting at the door, waiting to come in. She was a star last week and she wants to be part of it again this week. Well done. Okay. We're going to start off with little kicks. So you're going to take a little shuffle forward and do a little kick. Both sides though. I know people like playing with just one side. So we've got to try it both sides. Little run forward, little kick. Let's have nice control here. Well done. All right, as you can see, Kira's getting a little bit bigger. So see if you can kick that ball a little bit further, lifting the leg up a little bit higher, not too high yet. You're kicking the ball at us. You're headering it back. Okay, let's go higher. Let's go for a big kick. One almighty kick. Ready? Woo! Well done. Come on, let's kick it to the other side of the stadium. Just as well we haven't got the ball here. There'll be a few broken glass and windows and lights. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to be very nimble on our feet and dodge and get the ball. So we've got to dodge the other players and get the ball. So we're going to do a little bit side to side. Got to dodge, 
She's got to try and mark me. I need to get free. I think, ah, oh, she's ticking. Ha! Ah. Well done, side to side. And I'm in front, woo! They do do a lot of pushing and shoving in football, don't they? Okay, so that's our little leg and feet warm up. I'm gonna work on the arms now for tennis players. So what we just need to do is take one arm side to side. Oh, cheers. This is not gonna work with the other arm, is it? And the other arm. Ah. And high and low, we got that. Whoa, we're in sync, us two. Okay, now we need to have both hands together. Well done. Tennis players don't do it this big, but we're just warming up, remember? Let's take the arm all the way across, try and get a bit of a twist in. Kira's almost going round to the back. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> remember our owl last week, the head went all the way round. Kira's body's going all the way around and relax before she comes apart. <laughs> okay, well done. They need to do overarm, so we've got to go all the way over. <laughs> so that's how they do all their ace serves, don't they? <laughs> and the other arm, it's like we're fishing. Two more. Well done, we need to go up as well. They don't often do this shot, but we're going up and up, and up, and up, up, and up, and up. Kira's going all the way over, look. Don't know, her ball's gone into satellite space, I think. <laughs> okay, so if you're right-handed, Okay, you're gonna have your right hand out, you're gonna have your left side forward, and you're gonna go wing and back. Swing it and back. Swing it. See where Kira's is going. It's going into space. Okay, now we might have a backhand. So turn the other way, steal the right hand, and we have to come forwards and out. No, the right hand still. That's it, and back. Like we're fencing now. Can you imagine with our fencing saws? One more. Okay, now you might be left-handed, so we're gonna have a go with our left hand. So we're going forward. This is gonna be very alien for me. Okay, forward and swing. I'm not gonna have very, I'm not gonna get a lot of games and wins out of my left hand. Although I'm left-handed, I play tennis with my right hand. Oh, sorry. So that's ambidextrous. One more. And back again. Right, so backhanders with the left hand. Oops, she's off already. Well done. Let's do two more. And two. Brilliant. Okay, let's have a little stretch out. So stretch up, 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 up. Oh, here she goes again, pulling me down. And reach over. Did you touch the light? Yeah. It's hot. Keep your hip in. Keep your hip in. It is in. Stay, go up straight. Right, in. now lean. Oh my God. There. Keep your hips in, don't stick them out. And the other side. Reaching up and over without sticking the hip out. She's still doing it, isn't she? <laughs> well done. Now we're going to reach down to our toes, keeping those legs straight as possible. See if you can touch your toes or even the floor in front of your toes. Keeping your legs straight. And slowly coming up. Marvellous, are we warm? Hot. Well done. Okay, so we're going to go, she's going to go and get a drink. We're going to go to a colder climate now because we've warmed up and we're going to go skiing. All right. So our sport, our Olympic sport is skiing, which is really hard work actually if you've done it before. 
All right, so we've got our big long poles on our feet. All right, and we're just gonna start making sure your feet are parallel and we're just gonna have that little bend, okay? So make sure that as you're bending, you're sticking your bottom out behind you, okay? And that the weight's on the heels so that you don't go forward into the snow, okay? So here we are. All right, and we're just gonna bend over to the left. Oh, that might be your right. And the other way. So we're still with our knees bent. And we're down and down and down and down. So the hands are up here because you've got your poles in case you fall over. And there, thank you, Kira. Boom. And over. Always rely on my daughter to get a little bum press in there. And come up. So if you stay down for a long time, it hurts your legs. The skiers have extraordinarily strong legs. All right, we're going a little bit faster. We're going downhill now, okay? And we've still got our turns, but we're gonna have to get a little jumping and a little jumping. So we're gonna jump when we turn and we're gonna twist our hips, okay? Are you ready? Kira's already down the bottom. Okay, let's hear. And push off, use your arms to push off push off okay so we're gathering up speed now and we're gonna jump and turn oh the other way and jump and turn <laughs> and jump and turn <laughs> hold on she's got lots of turns on hers and jump and turn and jump and turn and jump and turn and they're getting quicker jump and turn not that quick Kira jump and turn jump and turn jump and turn and quicker still Land on soft knees, you've got to keep those knees bent. And eight, seven more, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we come to a halt by skin on our side. Woo! Well done. Now we've got to sit in that chairlift. Sit in the chairlift. We're going all the way up again. Going up the slope. That's really good because we don't have to do anything. We just have to sit in the chairlift and let it carry us up. Oh, we're sitting like that, are we? Back up. And up to the top again. Okay, well done. Shake those skis around. Don't poke anyone's eye out with them. All right, we need to improve our technique and time this time. Downhill slalom. Okay. Are we ready? Feet parallel so you don't cross your skis over. All right, you don't want to go... Although you do start skiing like that in snowplow, but we're professional, so we're in parallel. We're at the starting post. Get the sticks ready because we need to push our arms for speed. Three, two, one, go, go, come on. Push yourself, get up some speed. And turn. Whoa, they're big turns at the beginning. And turn. Stay down, stay down. And again. And again. Do you remember how many we did? I don't know. And turn. And again, a little bit quicker. Both knees together. Nice and soft. And then quicker still. And I know we had eight of these. Eight, seven, six. Nearly there. Four. Come on. Three, two. And stop with the ski. How did you do? I hope nobody fell over and became a big snowball. Brilliant, well done. We're still gonna stay with cold. What other sport is there with ice cold? Skating. Ice skating. Okay, so we're gonna go ice skating. Now we're gonna do speed skating to begin with. And then if you wanna get fancy, we can do a little bit of figure skating afterwards. There we go, like that. Okay, so all we're gonna do is a little practice on the ice, because I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit woo when I get on the ice. So we're gonna step and cross, step and cross, like that. So we're skating, use those arms, good job. And now we're gonna speed up a bit, we've got our confidence, and now we're gonna jump from foot to foot. Keep going Kira. I'm just going forward to see who's left us a lovely message. Oh, thank you, Andy. I hope you're skating with us, Andy. I want to see those pirouettes and arabesques. 
Come on, let's speed skate. We need to win now. Leaning forward. Arm across as you do it. She looks like she's in a boxing ring. What's going on? Boxing's later. Speed skate, speed skate. And let's just glide to finish. Are you all right? I think we need to do another lap. Yes, uh, we're not figure skating yet. That was our warm up lap, okay? She's skating to get a drink. I'm getting ready. Stepping across, digging that foot across, and we're gonna get a nice steady rhythm going here. Are you with us? Okay, we're going on a race this time. On your marks, get set. Let's speed skate. Do the move properly, go across, otherwise you're gonna lose rhythm and you'll lose the race. Coming at ya. Can you skate backwards? Oh yeah, and forward, and back. And we're gonna do one lap of the room. Ready? Go around the room. The other way, you're supposed to go in the same direction. What's she like? And winner! You're all winners, well done. Okay, are you getting a little bit chilly now from all that cold weather? So I think we need to do some, oh, we need to do the figure skating before we move on. That's at your right, Kira. Okay, so who can do a skate position into an arabesque and hold it? So out here, keep that tummy in for balance and she's on the ice. Let's try the other leg. Not so easy. Skate, keep the leg up, keep the tummy in. Good balance, put it in the leg and toe. Come on, let's, there we go. Okay, who can do that spin where they have their legs crossed? They go round and round and round. Okay, I'm dizzy. I mean, you, you twisted yourself up even more then. Okay, you've got one twist your legs. Now go that way. There we go. All right, are we done on the ice? Are we figure skated? Yeah, okay, brilliant. So we're gonna go for a refreshing swim now. Okay, if I stand here, it looks like I've got two glowing ears. The lights and my yeah. ears. <laughs> like a bear. Okay, I'm a little bear. Okay, so we're gonna go swimming. Most of it's the arms, but of course you've got to use the legs as well, okay? So we're gonna start with the arms and we're gonna go, making sure there's no lights in the way. We're gonna go forward. That's it, so forward stroke, over and over, and really keep those fingers closed, and claw your way forward, and then push the water back underneath you. Good, well done. All right, now we're on our back, and we're going backwards, so nice straight arms. Make sure you paddle that water up as you go. Well done. Brilliant, okay, stop, you're gonna hit your head on the side of the pool. Okay, breaststroke, so you've got it up here by your chest, you push forwards and out. Oops, in the way there, okay. So forwards and out, forwards and out, forwards turn and push out, brilliant. Now we need to do the legs with this at the same time. It's gonna look a bit weird standing up, but we're gonna do it, okay. Forward, down, round and up, and down and up. <laughs> Who can blow bubbles? <laughs> You're doing it at the wrong time. There you go. Okay, well done. We're gonna try it on the floor, as if you're lying on the water. Okay, so get down on the floor. And what you need to do is you need to lift. Can you come back a bit, Kira, so they can see you? There we go. Hopefully you're not gonna kick anything. Okay, so you need to lift up your legs and your shoulders. That's it, and now you need to pretend to do your breaststroke. Off the floor if you can. So out, in, in. And legs as well. 
Trying to coordinate them is really difficult, isn't it? Can you see her swimming? Oh dear, she's drowning. Come on, keep swimming, Kira. That's it. And how about the front crawl? Can you kick your legs? Uh, she looks like she's drowning, doesn't she, and crying for help. Are you doing a better job than her? It's I hope hard. you are. It's hard on the floor. It's hard on the floor because there's no water to yeah. wade through. Come on up then. I think we're done swimming. <sighs> okay. This next one is the one that we're going to do our challenge on. You can do it without the ball for now, but you will need the ball for the challenge, okay? So we're going to have a game of... What's the ball? Basketball. Do you like my sound effects? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pretend we've got an imaginary ball and we're just going to go round and bounce and bounce and bounce it. If you've got somebody else, you can try and get the ball off them like that. Okay, and then we're going to shoot. Every now and then, we're going to shoot. Okay, we're going to see if we can get that ring. All right, here we go. So we're bouncing. Keep that hand moving. Oh, she's nicked the ball off me. And shoot. Good, you've got to jump up. Those big face basketball players, they do a big jump and they hang on to the ring, don't they? Let's go again. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Can you go under your leg? And the other, oh, let's do some funny tricks and shoot. Lovely. And again, come on, we've got to get 10 shots in here. Bounce, 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 bounce. Shoot. And again, bounce, bounce around your body. Whoop, whoop. And shoot. Okay, I think that's four all together. So we've got how many more to do? Uh, six. Six more. Let's go. Bounce, 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 bounce to the other side of the pitch. And she shoots, she scores. And again, we're halfway there. Under the leg. Round and round. And shoot. Oh, I shot down the other end. You missed. Oh dear, I missed. So let's do it again. <laughs> Thanks for that. Okay, I'm going to do a big, I'm going to do a far one. Are you ready? Shoot. Oh, yes. What have we got? Two more? I've lost count. Yeah? yeah? I don't know. She doesn't know. Let's go. Bounce, bounce, bounce. And big jump. Wrong hoop. Oh, wrong hoop again. Keep doing it in the opponent. Okay, let's make this last one a really good one. Go down, bounce, bounce, bounce. Big leap, ready? Victory leap, woo! Excellent, is that your celebratory dance? There you go, she won, excellent. Where are we going next? Oh no, this one, this one could be dangerous. Okay, we're in the boxing ring next, okay? So you need to have your guard up, pretend you've got your boxing gloves on. This is non-combat, non-combat boxing. No contact, all right? So we're not knocking out your opponent. Okay, so first you need to have nice wide legs and we need to learn how to dodge the person that's shooting at you, all right? So rather than leaning like that, I want you to go down and over, down and over, down and over. <laughs> we're going the opposite way. Synchronize, there we go. Dip. Come on, let's miss them. Duck, duck, duck. It's like duck, duck, goose, isn't it? And relax, okay, brilliant. Now what they do in the boxing ring to warm up, they have their little skippy moats, don't they? We don't have a skippy moat, so we're just gonna pretend. Have you not seen them? Boxers in their training have skippy moats. So we're gonna pretend that we've got a skipper rope and jump two feet to two feet. Take those ropes round. And then if you can, get one foot in front of the other. Lovely. And backwards. Brilliant. And stop. Okay. Well done. All right. So we've got to have our fists up here because the most important thing to protect is your lovely face, isn't it? Okay. So we've got to have our face, yeah, lovely face. You need to protect it. So you've got to have your guard up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to jab forward with your, let's, let's have the front arm. So whichever way you're facing, have the front arm. Okay, we're going to jab, 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 and then we're going to run back. And again, jab, jab, 
Jack, you've got a tall opponent. She's going right up there, ready? Jack, Jack, Jack. And front. Let's go the other side. So straight ahead. Try not to hit me though. If you didn't care, that's fine. Ready, go. Jab, jab, boom. And back. Again. Boom, boom, boom. One more. And back. Brilliant. So that's a straight on punch, okay? So let's do it standing straight onto our opponent. And we're going to do each arm, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, we're pummeling them now. From the shoulders as well. Okay, good job. All right, so that's them at the front. We need to go into the side of their head. So we need to come, you really do have a tall opponent, don't you? Okay, you need to come in front of you. You're going rigid now. <laughs> you need to come around the side. Of course she's vicious, look at her. Let all your aggression and frustration out on nobody. An imaginary. There we go. Okay. Now, for Kira, because she's got that tall opponent, we need to go up here. Okay. So, yeah, she's going up. All right. Up. She's got a giant. Look at her. Up. Up. Uppercut. There we go. God, she is really throwing everything. I feel sorry for her opponent. Up. 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 Okay. Cool. Let's rest. Woo. All right, so now you're going to have a little spa, all right? So you can do whatever comes, all right? Let's have a little hopping around in a circle. I'm not even going to say if you've got a sibling, a sister, brother, mum, dad. Okay, don't because you might misjudge and clock on one. So just go against an imaginary opponent. You can go way over there, okay? And you're going to have a little sparring session. So any of those punches, forward, side, up, it's not cage fighting, so we're not kicking. All right, we're just boxing here. Ready? ding a ling, -ling. there's a the bell. Okay. Oh, duck. Don't forget, they're going to be punching you as well. Let's hop around. I don't think Kira can see what she's doing. Oh, duck. And this is a big one. Knock them out. Way. And here we go. The winner. Woo. Oh, there's a celebratory dance. Look at that. Fantastic. Okay. Let's try using the legs a little bit, shall we? For our karate and sumo boxing. Okay. So let's do sumo boxing. You know the big sumo wrestlers that looks like they're wearing a nappy. Yeah. All right. So they go. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Can you do that? All right. So you've got to lift up each leg and stamp it down. And up. That's it. And up. And up. And up. And up. Good job. Ugh. Ugh. Two more. One. Look what she's doing with her arms. And two. She's a bulldog. Cool. Shake those legs out, ready for the karate kicks. Is that what you do in sumo? You yeah. Use your tummies. Because they're so fat. Bang. Oh. Right, okay. Are you ready? So we're going to take one leg up, lift it. Hold on, Kira, slow motion. Lift it from the hip and then stretch out from the knee and down. Okay, lift from the hip, kick out from the knee, and down. All right, so let's do that each side, ready? Lift, kick, and down. So it's from the knee, but you lift from the hip. Lift, kick, and down. That's it. All right, now we're gonna try a side one. So we're on from the side, we lean over. So if I do it this way, you do it that way, Kira. Lean over and kick out to the side, each side. Okay, that's it. I'll do it this way while she's kicking that way. Whoa, she's coming my direction. Okay, 
What about if they're behind you? Okay. You... So I'm going to do it from the side. Can you go back on? There we go. So we're going to lean forward a bit, lift up our leg behind us, and shoot it out behind us. That's it. Oh, she's getting a little chief fierce, this woman. Push, 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 push. Two more. One, two. Whoa. I seriously don't want to be against her. I want to be your friend. Yeah, watch it. Guards up. Okay, brilliant. We've got one more to do. Cycling. We're going cycling. But we're going to be careful. We're going to do air cycling. So I need you to get on the floor. Oh. Oh. Can you see us? I don't know if you can see us. I think you can see us. Okay, so shuffle back a little bit. All right, so legs are in the air. And we're going to cycle them in the air. All right, so we're doing a tour de air, not a tour de France. All right, all the way round, big circles. Well done. And keep going. It's a long one. And now we're actually going to unwind. We're going to go backwards. Who's ever done that? Me. You don't go anywhere, do you? And forwards. It's good, isn't it? It's a good workout. Okay, we're going to lift up off our saddles and cycle. You might need to put your hands down. <laughs> or don't knee yourself in the face. He came off her bike. Did you see that? How are you doing? Uh, are you all right? No. Have you finished? Yes. That was really good. Should we stretch? Yes. Yes. Okay, so what I want you to do is lay out really straight and long and tall on your floor. Put your fingertips above your head and put more of the way from your tippy toes. I don't know if you can see it, so I'm going to sit up for this. Okay, Kira's doing it for me. She's stretched long, 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 long. Okay. She's going to curl up into a ball now. Curl up and bring your knees in and give yourself a cuddle. Well done. Now she's going to stretch out. Stretch out again. And she's going to lift one leg up in the sky. And she's going to pull it in towards her as straight as she can. And should feel a stretch. Down here on the hamstring. And we're going to do that on the other leg now. Remember it's only a comfortable stretch. And when you stretch, don't hold your breath. Breathe out. Because as you breathe out, you'll be surprised how much further you can go. Brilliant. And bring that leg down. And now I would like you to roll over onto your tummies. Can you put your head facing them this time, Mum? There we go. Brilliant. <clears throat> and what I want you to do is I want you to see if you can catch one of your feet with your hand behind you. And try and pull from the ankle, not the toe. And you're going to pull it down to your bottom. And at the same time, you're going to push your hips down to the floor. And that way you should get a stretch on the front of your oh. leg. Is that good? Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh. And release, and let's catch the upper foot. Got it. From the ankle, not the toe, hold the ankle. And pull that heel into your bottom and push your hips forwards or down to the floor. Brilliant. And release that. Now put your hands underneath your chest and just keep your hips to the floor, but straighten up your arms slowly. She's so fast, this one. Push your hips down and stretch your arms up. Brilliant. And now lift your bottom up and sit back over your heels. That's it. <laughs> Try and get your chest down to the ground. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And push it back up onto your toes. Back onto your toes. So your knees off the floor. That's it. And keep your head down by your knees. And stand up with straight legs, but head down. So stretch your legs up. You can put your heels down. And slowly uncurl up bit by bit. There. Now we're going to take our nice big sumo breaths in. So big, wide legs. Breathe in. 
and lift up and exhale down and in and up exhale down and in and up and let it all go Kira if you want to get your basketball okay here's a challenge for you so there's one of two challenges you can either try and bounce that ball underneath your leg and do some fancy basketball tricks or you can have a go at spinning the ball on your finger. She said if there's a dent to hold it in. Okay, so try and spin it round. See if you, see if you can, whoa, did you see that? Okay, see if you can spin the ball round. So I'll look forward to seeing how you got on. Let us know how you thought today went, what you, whether you liked it or not. And next week, we're going to take you on a voyage, okay? We're going to go travelling to lots of different countries, all right? See you later. Have a good week. Bye.